we're trying it again. We're hopping on again. Um, we are here today, Paso Livo, uh, the cooking kitchen cuisine, and this time we are pairing up with Justin Winery and uh, Vineyard and their executive chef, Chef Rachel. So hopefully we are going to be able to connect up with them too uh, to uh, check out what Chef Rachel has been pulling together for us. So let's see how it works out. We're, I'm gonna wait to see if they can hop on and then have them join. And we're going to, I'm gonna stop talking. How about that? <laughs> you guys can listen to Chef Rachel, who I feel like is probably a lot more excited to listen to so we're gonna see if they can hop on then we're going to change account well no we're not gonna change accounts they're gonna switch stuff around to see if that's the thing but hopefully it's not the thing and hopefully we'll be good to go so thank you so much for for bearing with us we really really appreciate it and thank you for sticking with us um, the I, I honestly feel like this is going to be worth the wait so I, I think it's going to reward you back for uh, sticking with us because uh, the dishes that she is pulling together today sound amazing. We're talking focaccia bread, we're talking barbecue chicken, we're talking watermelon salad. Uh, yeah, everything with her skill and our olive oil. It's a match made in heaven. So hopefully we'll be able to get them connected on so that you guys can check it out because I'm, I'm visualizing all the stuff that I keep talking about and I, I'm very excited for it. <laughs> so we've got the aged balsamic that we're using. We've got the, or that she's using. I don't want to put myself up in there. Um, the uh, rosemary, the basil, and the California olive oil. Let's see. Let's see. Hop her on. And the lemon pepper. So rosemary, basil, California, aged balsamic, and lemon pepper. So that's the, the bundle. If you jumped on and bought the bundle online, then you know that that's the pile that you've got in front of you um, to make all of that goodness today. So we'll see if she can hop on. I know she just asked. I said yes, but I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to say yes and then deny her. So let's see what happens. Um, but if not, we're gonna, she's just gonna switch over to a different account so that we can make sure that you guys do get to see all the goodness that she's pulling together. Um, it doesn't look like it's working though. So, because usually, oh, what? Oh my gosh, it's yay. a miracle. Oh, yay. This is so exciting. <laughs> I was starting to think that I was lying to people. <laughs> we're here. Sorry, we're 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 a little bit sideways right now, so everybody tilt your head, and then we're good. Oh, that looks so pretty, though. Look how pretty it looks. Is there are you still sideways? We Do are we still to? sideways. Sorry. I mean, that. <laughs> Is that better? It's not going to change unless we change the phone around here. Yeah, it just has to be like this, right? There we go. But now we can't see anything. Oh, come oh, on. No. Oh, gosh. All of that stuff looks so good. So look how beautifully you've pulled it together. Thank you so much. Well, we were definitely trying. <laughs> <laughs> Darn Instagram. How does... Okay. <laughs> how does the stand work then? <laughs> no, it was... Well, it's not... Was it just a little crooked or were you completely sideways? No, it was completely sideways. I don't know if they'll be able to see us both now. So we'll as you guys are kind of pulling that together, the reason that you're hearing two voices is because we have executive chef Rachel and sommelier Allison Crawford. So hey there, hi. <laughs> so that those are the two voices and the two beautiful faces that you're seeing right now. Hi, welcome. Hi. I thank you so much for um, figuring all of that out for us. I keep teasing the fact that there's all this beautiful food and amazing wine on the other side, but, and people trusted me because they stuck with us. <laughs> well, thanks for doing that. And we really apologize. We, yeah. we sent probably a request a million times. Yeah. We're not sure what happened. <laughs> I'm blaming the smoke. That's what I've decided. I'm blaming everything on the smoke. Cause there you go. Sounds good. It's probably affecting internet. I don't know, but yeah, it's the smoke's <laughs> fault. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Awesome. All right, so I kind of um, 
I don't know if you were watching or not, but I kind of tooted your guys' horn already a little bit. Um, and Justin, and how fantastic the wines are. Like world-class, not just award-winning, but awards, uh, multiple yes. awards through Wine Spectator. So it, it is really exciting to know that we are going to be getting this amazing food this pull together because it all sounds fantastic but also being paired up with some world cast class wines yes well we're really excited to be here with Paso Olivo thank you so much for having us um I know chef's excited to kind of dive into some really beautiful recipes uh and kind of share these beautiful seasonal ingredients with you yeah I'll try and go fast I'm really excited because not only are we going to be cooking with some awesome products from Paso Olivo, but they're going with some really fun wines. So I'm going to start off with the first one, which is our rosé and the watermelon salad. And the watermelon salad is really easy. And it's what's nice about it is that it highlights everything summer right now. So we've got, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got some watermelon here. And if you just take your watermelon, some tomatoes, and I've got some cherry tomatoes. I've got some larger heirloom tomatoes. And I'm going to mix it with some basil. All, again, going back to all these fabulous summer ingredients. And a little bit of arugula. And the best part, which is going to be the basil olive oil. Yes. yes. <laughs> and, yep. And the aged balsamic. Two oh. awesome products. Good call. Those two. Yeah. Oh, God, that sounds amazing. Um, so I'm just going to assemble it real quick, and I'm going to top it with a little bit of feta, and I'm going to also top it with some pistachios. Do you want to tell everyone how awesome the balsamic and the olive oil is, or did you already do that <laughs> when we were trying to log on? <laughs> so I, I cut a little bit of the balsamic, but I didn't cut the, the basil olive oil, and I'm not sure why I didn't, because obviously it's, it, like I said, it's the sweetheart of our flavored tastings whenever we do ex the olive oil tastings and get, get into the flavored olive oil. It is made by milling four to 500 pounds of fresh organic basil to one ton of olives. So we literally hand slice fresh organic basil leaves and put it into the hammer mill at the same time as the olives are going through. So we are getting the oil from the basil leaf at the same time as from the olives. So we're not infusing. It's not like a tea where we put it on top and steep it and hope that that flavor comes through. A lot of people will try to make their own flavored olive oils by doing that. This is a whole other process. And the reason why that flavor is so true and so fresh tasting because of how it's done. Nice. Absolutely. And Paso Olivo is one of the best places, if not the best, to get those flavored oils from. And I really like these two combinations because it really just highlights all of the ingredients that are in the food, mainly the watermelon, tomatoes, and basil. But these ingredients also go really nicely with our rosé wine. Yes. Absolutely. So we've got a little bit of our 2019 Rosé of Syrah. Um, these grapes are coming from all over the Central Coast, um, and we've got some really beautiful, fresh, vibrant flavors here. Watermelon being the key ingredient makes it a fairly easy choice for the watermelon pairing salad. Uh, great, bright acidity, a little bit of Bing cherry, uh, good amount of floral notes as well, and Meyer lemon. Very, very refreshing and crisp, almost a mineral finish. It makes it very, very food friendly. Um, and this is a wine that you can find in distribution, so you don't necessarily have to come all the way out here to see us, but we would love it if you did. Uh, this is also distributed nationally as well. So we threw a little bit in the glass to, uh, to just check it out, make sure it's tasting as great as we remember. Wait a second. Oh, amazing. no. What happened here? Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. I'm jealous. Uh, so I am kind of, um, yeah, I... Rosé is kind of my, my, my jam right now, especially with the triple digits. I mean, yes. it, it can do no wrong. Is this something, because we're talking to people for, in California, but we're also talking to people out of state. Is this something they can order online or how does how do they go about getting this? Wine? Absolutely, absolutely. This is something that is part of our national distribution. So you might even be able to find it on a grocery store shelf near you. Um, it's becoming more and more popular in these wider nat uh, national markets. Um, you can always order from us the tasting room and you could give us out every uh, state 
here in the country. Um, we do have online uh, ordering available as well, if you prefer. Um, we do offer some special uh, discounts, of course, if you order through us directly at the tasting room. So we're happy to share that. Just give us a ring and we'll be happy to ship. Oh, fantastic. Oh, hey, you heard it here yeah. first. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is awesome. All right. So, I mean, we do want everybody to come join us when they can, when it's safe to hop on a plane and uh, the air quality isn't ridiculous. But until then, yes. you can still get your olive oil, you can still get your wines. So um, yes. let's move on to the next item that you're going to be pulling together. Yeah. So the next item that I'm gonna to touch on is our focaccia. Now, I'm sure a lot of you viewers have already started down the sourdough bread starter at home. <laughs> and if you have, then this is a perfect recipe for you because it's easier than the bread that you've been baking already. So um, instead of having to form and shape the bread, basically you put the fabulous olive oil down and then you put your raw dough down, which you can mix with any ingredients that you like. Here, we're doing it with the rosemary that's, one, fresh from the garden, but also the fabulous, exactly, rosemary <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> Got it. Um, so I don't know if you can see it because we had to move our camera around, but this is our precaution right here, and we are actually serving it also in the restaurant. Let's see. Let's and get a close up here. So we're not only baking the focaccia with our sourdough, uh, sorry, rosemary olive oil, but we're also serving it with the side of the rosemary olive oil for extra dipping. So. Oh, that sounds amazing. So, I mean, you're still doing the rising, you know, the yeast and all the, the jazz, right? We're still proofing it and letting it proof and rise and yes, knead, but instead of trying to form those batards and bowls or baguette shakes, whatever you're doing at home, you literally just get to put it in a pan on top of some of the rosemary olive oil and then sprinkle some sea salt and bake. So it's the easier of all the sourdough recipes that you're probably doing at home. And like I said, the rosemary olive oil. Nice. We're also uh, pairing it with our savants. No, I've, I've moved the camera, so I'm not sure if you can see my wine anymore. But uh, the savant, this is a uh, blend of Syrah and Cabernet Sauvignon. These are the two most widely planted grapes here in Paso Robles. Not a, a blend you find typically here in California, but it is something you find um, internationally, most popular in uh, Australia, actually. Um, but this is actually blending two really beautiful grapes and two di completely different characteristics together. The Syrah has this really beautiful dark plum and black cherry juicy fruit. It's also got a nice kind of herbal quality that's naturally occurring as well. So you get almost a rosemary on the nose here, which is really nice because with the rosemary focaccia. Um, and it's, it's also blended here at 65% Syrah, 35% Cab. Cab brings a little bit of structure, a little bit of uh, durability to this wine, but it is deceptively elegant and light on the palate. So you can pair this with the, the focaccia bread and just it just kind of melts in your mouth together. And um, this will stand up to hardier things as well, but I was actually really impressed at how elegant it's been. 2017 vintage here, just that little extra time in the bottle to relax is really changing into a beautiful young lady, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly, uh, focaccia and a good, good red wine sounds like dinner to me. I don't think I have to do yes. much more. I mean, that sounds, yeah, nobody wants to, after, after you can, you can bake and then you can, Pull the, the house down and just sit back, relax, and enjoy the wine. My problem would be I'd probably drink one of those bottles while while cooking. So. <laughs> no one ever said that was a bad thing. Exactly. Right? Exactly. <laughs> All right. So uh, and now now we've got the barbecue chicken too. I mean, the yes. fact that you pulled together three different recipes for us, I'm I we're so thankful and like they all sound so amazing so and so different so each person could make either one item or mm -hmm. they could pull everything together so thank you for doing that for us absolutely well actually you have such a wide range of products that it was hard to narrow down the favorites so we chose a handful of them um so we had planned on doing this outside at a barbecue, but yeah. since literally all of Paso smells like a barbecue right now, we brought it <laughs> indoors for safety reasons. So therefore, we're not actually cooking the chicken with you live today. 
Um, what I ended up doing was roasting it in the oven, which is the great thing about the recipe that you have in front of you is that you can adapt it for anything inside the oven or outside on the barbecue. Um, really what you're looking for is a crispy skin, which you're going to get with a high temperature on your grill or in your oven. Um, so what I used here was two different Paso legal products. I used the lemon pepper, which gives it some really fun seasoning. And then we also did the California olive oil. Yeah. So nice. you can do one or two things. You can toss all of your chicken in these products and a little bit of salt, or you can make a paste with them and stuff it underneath your skin of your chicken breast, or if you're doing a whole chicken. Either way, you can get a great seasoning, great flavor, retain some moisture, and barbecue or in the oven roast your chicken. I like to, if I'm on the grill, finish my chicken on the top once that skin's crispy and put it on top of my vegetables so any of those extra flavors and juices just kind of marinate into the veg, which we would have done had we been outside. Um, but again, the thing, the beauty of this recipe is that just go to your market, your farmer's market, and use whatever you can find. Um, and whatever you like, right? It's about what you like. Here, I'm using all vegetables that are local here in Paso, so. I, I, it looks gorgeous, and the idea of making the, the paste and putting it underneath the skin is genius, and something that never would have occurred to me at all. Do, what's the, what are the, what's the, um, the reasoning? What's the recipe to create that paste? Well, you can use a variety of fresh herbs like you'll see in the recipe, such as garlic, uh, oregano, chive, parsley, thyme. And I, again, I don't want, I don't like the customer or the guest to feel like they have to follow the recipe specifically. I think you need to do what you like best, right? Or what you have access to, especially since not everyone's out and about right now. And create those those dry ingredients or those fresh herbs, garlic, and then of course the lemon pepper seasoning, and then add that lemon. And then I use a pastry bag. If I'm at home and don't have that, I'll use a grocery bag and just cut the corner and then help slide that under the skin to fill in with that paste. Oh, wow. Ah, yeah. See, skills. They, I mean, <laughs> we're all slowly getting closer to being skilled cooks because of you guys. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, was, I honestly was just going to, like, take it with my hand and just sh shove it in there. So the, <laughs> you can. Way more delicate. That's what I would have done, too. <laughs> my hands aren't very delicate and dainty, so I got I have to find an alternative method. <laughs> I, I, I mean, thank you for elevating us a little bit and um, raising me out of my manhandling of my chicken. So, <laughs> so what's the wine that you would pair up with that chicken? Sure. So we have a really beautiful blend. Another one, this is also exclusive uh, to the tasting room. This is our right angle blend. Uh, this is based on our core Cabernet that you find distributed nationally. So if you're a big fan of Justin Cab, I highly recommend checking out our right angle blend. Um, this is 76% of that Cabernet Sauvignon and it's blended with Malbec, Petite Verdot and Petite Syrah. So tons and tons of really awesome flavors going in here. Lots of that blackberry, black currant, a little bit of that black cherry that we love from uh, Paso Cabernet. Um, Malbec brings in a little bit of brightness, more of that red raspberry, strawberry fruit. And then the Petite Syrah brings a little spiciness, a little peppery uh, element, which is beautiful when we come to anything off the grill. Uh, the Petite Verdot comes in at the very end. It really is more of an uh, uh, structural and depth of color here. Um, this is an easy drinker for sure. You can take this <laughs> in the glass. You don't even need the chicken, but it's gonna take that chicken to the next level as well. Um, and it's kind of fun to be able to pair red wine with lighter style dishes as we move into the warmer months. So just because it's a white meat doesn't mean you have to have a white wine. Uh, certainly this is uh, elegant and juicy enough to, to stand up to this chicken without overpowering it. It's really quite tasty. Oh my gosh, that sounds really complex. I mean, that's <laughs> quite the blend that you've got going on there. Yes, yeah. oh. it's wonderful. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> I, this is definitely making me feel the need to come taste at your tasting room whenever it is available again. So right now yes. you guys aren't doing tastings because air quality and all the things. Yes. There's, I mean, we're honestly like, California right now is dodging and weaving. 
everything. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> key right now. So you guys probably aren't doing tastings right at this minute, right? That's correct. Our tastings are closed today. Um, we're hoping for a change in wind for tomorrow, but it, we'll see. Yeah, yeah fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed. Um, traditionally, we are open daily, though, offering tastings from 1030 until 430. Uh, and the chef has a restaurant open uh, for lunch service Thursday through Sunday. Um, and we have dinner service as well. We do. We have yeah. dinner service, and as I mentioned, currently the papasha is on the menu daily, yes. and the tomato watermelon salad is making an appearance both at lunch and another version at dinner. Yes. So come on in and enjoy not only the food and the wine, but some Paso Lido products. One stop shop right exactly, now. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, that's a, I, I didn't. I had no idea that you guys did dinner as well. Um, are you? I know. Okay. So there's no tastings. Are you doing retail right now? So uh, with the air quality, we did close today completely. Uh, okay. Daily, we're getting updates as quickly as we can. Um, of course, we're taking the readings from the vineyard here to figure out if we can safely open. Um, but we will be offering, we traditionally do offer tastings. It's just the air quality that's uh, shutting us down right now. Um, but we have been very blessed to, to welcome everybody back to the tasting room here, both at the estate and at our downtown location as well. Uh, we're offering a, a slightly smaller flight at our downtown location, a little bit of a taste of Justin. Um, and you can stop by the downtown location daily from 12 to 6. Um, and you don't need a reservation to visit us downtown. Just first come, first serve at our tables outside. Uh, that's a, a brand new uh, location for us. Well, brand new. It's been a couple of years now. But we're excited to, to be able to bring our wines closer to all of those, <laughs> those of us who want to come and enjoy. Yeah, I mean, that location is gorgeous. You're, you're you. right there looking out onto the, the park, and it's yes. such an easy one to, to walk by and walk into. So Absolutely. definitely, if you're able to do it, do so, because, I mean, these wines that she's describing, obviously, these are world-class wines, and you don't often get the opportunity to go straight to the source and taste all of this stuff. So this is, yeah, things that you, I mean, you can you can pick this stuff up, I mean, other side of the states and here it is being made right here in our backyard so it's pretty that's pretty exciting um, I I'm thrilled not only that you um, were able to do this with us today but that you stuck with us <laughs> and, <laughs> and you worked with all of the obstacles not only not being able to cook outside but also you know the fact that you know you're working together, but I, I see you guys standing apart too. I really appreciate that. <laughs> and um, the fact that um, you were able to work through the, the internet situation too. So there's been a lot um, <laughs> going against this and I really appreciate you guys sticking with us um, because yeah, someone just mentioned it was really worth the wait and it absolutely was. Okay. Um, so the thank, those, you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you everyone for your patience. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, <laughs> we're ready to give up on us. I know. Those recipes, are they online or do we have them? This is this is yes. so we have them, you have them, we both have them. Yeah, I actually saw them on Paso Olivo's yes. website or on the Instagram, in fact, yesterday when I was looking at them. So yes, they are on the Instagram. All right, so I saw the pictures, wasn't sure if the recipes were involved with them. So that's what I get for blazing through things. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I'm focused, very focused. Um, anyway, so I swear I wasn't drinking wine while I was looking. <laughs> um, or maybe I was. Um, so if you want the recipes, they're on our Instagram. Uh, if you want the wines, hop on Justin's website or come visit one of their locations uh, the, when it's healthy to do so. Um, yes. And go check them out because their wines are, oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, you're going to see them on pretty much every restaurant's wine list. They are just, I mean, you guys are well-known, well-loved around here. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We're so excited and we feel so lucky to have so many fans and followers. Truly, uh, you're the reason we're here and just keep coming back, keeping us, <laughs> keeping us engaged. We're excited. Yeah, well, it was definitely worth the wait. I am so thankful, guys. Um, I'm going to I'm going to drive on over to eat your food now. Just kidding. I, I'm <laughs> getting a knock on the door. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, hopefully we can do it again soon sometime. And everybody Absolutely. just on your list of 
shopping and traveling and visiting when you do come to Paso. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day and try to enjoy this weekend, whatever that looks like for you, staying indoors, staying safe. Yeah, thank you so much. We're so excited to have had this opportunity. Absolutely. Bye. Have a great thank day. You. Thank you. Um, I'm going to talk about next week a little bit. Um, you guys can log off or, or hang out either way. <laughs> um, <laughs> next week, we are going to be making smoothies. We covered it earlier, uh, but I wanted to cover it again. We're going to be doing smoothies with the lemon olive oil and the lime olive oil. And maybe it is a margarita smoothie. We don't know. I don't know. You're going to have to log in. Um, but it's going to be delicious. I know that for a fact because so far, so good with all of the people that we've been working with. The, the food has been amazing. The drinks have been amazing. Uh, so stick with us because it's going to be really interesting to get this kind of healthy uh, focus in on a morning way, um, a lunchtime, a brunch way to use our extra virgin olive oil, um, kind of on the go too. So not one of those settle down and, you know, cook for 30 minutes, but something that you can toss together and get all those great health benefits. So, um, and I think we all need to make sure that we're doing a lot of self-care and taking care of ourselves inside and out right now. Uh, so tomorrow or next week will be perfect for that. Two o'clock, the 28th, uh, August 28th, uh, we will see you again for smoothies. Hop on our website to either join the club, let us know that you're watching and join the club with us. Um, head to our tasting rooms. We are doing tasting. We're just being really aware. Um, and um, any of the bundles that you we've been talking about or you see in the future, you can always click and buy, okay? And that's basically a club shipment right there. So, uh, and then you are well outfitted for all the cooking that you're going to be doing. Uh, we thank you once again for joining us. Please take care of yourself during this time. Again, it's tough all over and we are here to give you a little bit of levity and um, raise your spirits a little bit with some good cooking, some good drinks and some good olive oil. Uh, have a fantastic weekend, whatever that looks like to you. Please stay safe and we will see you next week. Bye guys. Thank you.